due to the high prevalence of drug abuse and addiction, a sensitization program was organized for youth in Igara community Edo State on the effects and impacts of drug abuse. Similarly, young persons in the state were informed to desist from perpetrating gender-based violence, which is reported to be rampant in the state. According to the 2018 National Drug Use Survey, a joint research by the National Bureau of Statistics and the Center for Research and Information on Substance Abuse, Edo State ranked third among other states in the South-South region, with 330,000 persons involved. What goes with drug addiction is gambling. Between gambling and drug use, because there is impulse control disorder, the person's brain has been rewired so that it is gambling, it is addiction that has taken over the person or individual side. Also, women and girls in Igara community were taught self-confidence, body and mind positivity, gender-based assault on violence, managing family and career, and thriving in sectors perceived unfeminine. Every woman, every girl child is as important as a boy. The boy children are very important too. The men children are important. But nobody should tell you this is for you only. Whatever you want to do, try and persuade those around you who do not understand why it is important you do those things. You must care for the difference. For them, you must trust me in your mind that I am, I am not that bad. I am not busy. I am absolute. These events were organized as part of the activities to mark the 60th birthday celebration of the Director General of Nigeria's Governors Forum, Asi Shana Okaru, which started January 4 and ended January 8. Basically, I'm trying to mark my 60th birthday. And um, for it, the idea is just to be with my day-to-day -day friends, um, be with my community, um, reflect on past happenings um, and, 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 and project into the future. You know, at 60, um, ordinarily we ought to be winding down. You know, it, it, um, I, I've, I've come a long way. I just think um, the connection with my community has grounded me well. And, and I just think um, the, the, the fact that I was uh, programmed, I uh, put it that way, programmed to do a number of things within an environment that's normal, um, that is um, ethical, that is okay, I mean, um, uh, played uh, a huge role. And, and as uh, a way of giving back, and, and it's a way of uh, just uh, trying to tell the uh, uh, youths and kids just growing up that this could be one way they should think, uh, I mean, think of I mean, moving in this direction. Some of the participants spoke about lessons they learned from the event. Oh, I learned a lot. Mm -hmm. One thing that I learned that, picked, that I picked from was God did not make a man's brain and a woman's brain. <laughs> I like that, that sentence because over time I used to think that there are some things that are mainly for me. First and foremost, I've learned to have fear of God in anything I do in life. There were other activities to mark the birthday celebration which commenced with donations to the widowed and less privileged in his community and visitation at General Hospital and Primary Health Center in Igara as foodstuff were given to health workers, appreciating them for their service to humanity. It was wonderful. We thought our patients were happy. Even for my staff, they met. They are very happy. We are all happy. A photography training session was organized for residents and facilitated by an award-winning photographer, Paul Odigie, who taught participants how to understand the camera and tell stories through photography. To round off the activities, medical missions were held for two days for the elderly and young persons in the community. On ground now, we have about 62 doctors, ranging from general uh, physicians, we have uh, ONG specialists, we have surgeons, we have ENT, we have psychiatrists. The doctor checked me, examined me, he checked my BP, it was 190 over 160. He asked me if I'm a BP patient, I said yes I am. He told me what I want to do and he wrote some drugs for me. I called it my eye check and eventually drugs were passed to me. 
Agnes was new to them. I went to the dental unit and they were able to check my teeth and they said I needed to fill it up. Like there's a hole that I needed to fill. And so they cleaned my teeth and they filled it. A Thanksgiving ceremony was held at the church and there was a reception which saw the attendance of the chairman of the Nigerian Governors Forum, Governor Kayode Fayemi, the Commissioner for Health Edo State, Patrick Ojundia, who represented the governor, and Jimmy Imo, Special Advisor to the Imo State Governor. <laughs> Thank you.